Hello, this is Peter with another video. Today I'm going to be updating you on my Owari Tatsuma. Um, as you can see, um, it's starting to flower, or it has been flowering really for the last week or so. Um, you can see most of the flowers are open now. There's still a few smaller ones that haven't opened up yet. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of flowers that are opening up now. Um, there's also quite a bit of new growth on it as well. Um, I did cut some of the branches back because they were quite long. Um, and I used some of those to uh, do some grafting experiments and also try and root some of the cuttings. Um, which I'll show in some separate videos. But I've already got a video on the on some of the grafting results, although there has been changes since I did that video, so I'll probably do an update soon. Uh, but yeah, you can see the Owari Satsuma is looking quite good at the moment. The leaves are mostly looking green. Um, there's a few little paler leaves here, but most of them are uh, looking quite good. Um, I didn't repot the um, the plant it's still in the, the compost that it came in. Um, I've actually found it seems to enjoy growing in this um, this mix. So while it's happy, I'm not going to not going to change it. Um, it is still quite heavy though, much heavier than I'd prefer for um, for a citrus plant to be growing in. But uh, yeah, definitely seems to be healthy and happy at the moment. Um, now, if I compare that quickly to the Satsuma, the other Satsuma, my unknown variety of Satsuma, you can see this is a bit of a horror story at the moment. Um, so yeah, I repotted this when I got it into a 5-1-1 type of mix, but I don't think I've got the mix quite right. Um, it seems much heavier than it should be, um, and it didn't dry out much uh, for quite a while so a lot of the leaves started dropping off it um, it did flower a few weeks earlier than the Owari um, but yeah most of the you can see most of the flowers are now finished there's a few that haven't opened yet but yeah I think that's mostly because the plant has gone into kind of decline at the, at the minute so I'm not quite sure what's going on with it um, at first I thought it was because the pot was too waterlogged, it was very heavy and very moist. So what I decided to do is I put it into the greenhouse for a few, um, for a few days. And after I did that, some of the leaves went crispy and dry, see they got scalded there. Um, so that wasn't a good idea really, in hindsight. Um, but yeah, I think... At the moment I'm just gonna keep an eye on the, the moisture in this pot and then I might feed it with some um, with some fertilizer as I think it is lacking nutrients in this mix. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping the leaf drop will stop soon. Uh, but yeah, that's the other Satsuma tree not looking very good. But yeah, the Owari, on the other hand, is looking very healthy at the moment. Um, I think the first flower is one of these down here. can't remember if it was the bottom one or this one that opened first. But yeah, we'll see if we end up with any fruits at this, um, off this tree this year. Probably the citrus I'm most excited about. Um, the Satsumas. I'll do a separate video on some of the other citrus I've got as well. Um, that'll be qu probably quite a long video. I'll probably spend about a minute or so on each plant, so it'll probably be quite a long one. Uh, but yeah, I'll do that in a separate update. And that's a mix, a mix of good and bad um, looking trees at the minute. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be updated when I release further updates. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.